Hello, Amber. What are you doing here? Are you admiring our new utensils? <laughs> no, Mr. Teddy. I have been elected the class leader. My teacher has asked me to collect enough water for all the students in class. Can you please help me decide which of these containers I should use to fill water? Ah, a water problem. First, we need to figure out the capacity of the container you need. You may know that capacity is the quantity of liquid a container can hold. Yes, Mr. Teddy, I know that. Good. Now tell me, how much water do you need? There are 10 students and each of them need one glass of water. So, you need a container with a capacity of 10 glassfuls. What are glassfuls, Mr. Teddy? The capacity of a container can be described in terms of the name of the container. So, a glassful is the capacity of a single glass. You can also use these terms to find the relationship between the capacities of two containers. A container can have half, twice or many times the capacity of another container. Look at this glass and bowl. The bowl can hold exactly half as much water as the glass. Try for yourself. That is cool. That means the glass has twice the capacity of the bowl. So one glassful is equal to two bowlfuls. Let's look at another example. Hmm, this water bottle will do. I poured two glasses of water into this water bottle. Now the bottle is full. What does that mean? The bottle has twice the capacity of the glass. And so, one bottle full is equal to two glassfuls. Absolutely correct. I hope now you understand that different containers have different capacities. Yes, Mr. Teddy. You are welcome, Amber. Now, let us select a container to hold enough water for your class. We have to find out which container will hold 10 glasses of water. Here is a jug, Amber. See how many glasses of water it can hold. It can hold only 4 glasses of water. That means the jug has 4 times the capacity of the glass. Okay. Let us try this earthen pot now. This can hold 10 glasses. Yes. Looks like you have found the perfect container for your class. Thank you, Mr. Teddy. You have been quite helpful. Bye. Now the glass is broken. How am I going to fill the earthen pot now? Good morning, Mr. Teddy. Good morning, Amber. What happened? Oh, the glass is broken. What will I do now, Mr. Teddy? I need to fill up the earthen pot before class starts. Don't worry, Amber. We still have the bowl, don't we? Yes, Mr. Teddy. Then you can use it to fill the pot. Problem solved. But how many bowlfuls will I need to fill the pot? Well, 
the bowl has only half the capacity of the glass. So you will need 20 bowls of water to fill the earthen pot. Ooh, I will fill the pot with 20 bowlfuls of water now. Thanks again, Mr. Teddy. You are welcome. Why don't you meet me after class? I will teach you more about capacity. Sure, Mr. Teddy. Oh, Mr. Teddy, I am so excited about the new school fish pond. But how will this help me learn about capacity? Well, I will fill the pond with this bucket. You have to count the number of bucketfuls of water I pour into the pond. Wow! You used 100 bucketfuls of water to fill the pond. I never knew the pond could hold so much water. See, the capacity of the school fish pond is 100 bucketfuls. The capacity of the earthen pot can be measured in glassfuls and bowlfuls. The capacity of the larger containers, like the fish pond, has to be measured in bucketfuls. I see. Thanks for the lesson, Mr. Teddy. I enjoyed teaching you, Amber. Now, let us put the fish into their new home. I have to feed the fish now. So, let's quickly go over what we learnt in this lesson. Capacity is the quantity of liquid a container can hold. Different containers have different capacities. A container can have half, twice or many times the capacity of another container. The capacity of small containers are measured in glassfuls and bowlfuls. The capacity of larger containers are measured in bucketfuls.